So today I went into storage and pulled some records out of some crates I found. Thought I'd share them with you, just some fun stuff. This is Cheech and Chong's Big Bamboo. It's a comedy album, kind of like a party album from back in the 70s. And I'm sure a lot of you know who Cheech and Chong is. But, you know, in records back in the old days, you sometimes got little surprises inside of the gatefold or inside of the liner notes. In this case, they were kind enough to give you a giant rolling paper in case you want to roll yourself a great big joint and listen to this album. How kind of them, right? Most of the time when I see this record in a crate dig, the rolling paper is missing because, well, somebody used it. But not in this case. Still intact, so I grabbed the record. Survivor Vital Signs. I think I've talked about this record before. And I think it's really underrated. It's a good record. The, the hits on here were The Search is Over, which is a ballad, and I Can't Hold Back, which is not my favorite song. But there are album tracks on here, like Broken Promises and Popular Girl, that I really, really like. So I think this is worth a listen. If you find it in the bargain bin, bring it home and give it a listen. It's pretty good. Level 42. I think in the U.S. we only got two hits from them, but they've got some great music that they were hearing in Europe. This is Running in the Family. This one has Lessons in Love on it, but it's got some other really cool tracks, too. I don't think I've ever seen this on another crate dig. I found it one time and grabbed it up. It's a good one. Now, I'm not a Rod Stewart mega fan, but I do have some Rod Stewart. I just grabbed it out of storage. I'm missing a couple, like the Body Talk album. I want to get that one because it's got... Um, what's that one track I really like? Oh, Baby Jane. I don't have that one, but you know I've got all these, and they're pretty good. Just something to put on the shelf. That one's a promo. See that? This one, of course, has Young Turks on it, and Tonight I'm Yours. Uh, Sticks. Paradise. Or, I'm sorry, Grand Illusion. This is a really good album. This one's fun. Cornerstone. Sticks. They used to give you cool stuff when you bought a record. Like with Cornerstone, check this out. You've got to open it up like this to get to ah, come on. To get to the record itself. And this is actually the platinum sleeve here. So that's nice. It's all still intact. I forget what they call these. It's not a gatefold, it's something else. But yeah. Kind of a neat thing. You don't see that too much. This is Sticks Paradise Theater. And, you know, what's interesting about this record, it's like that, the gatefold. But, let me see if I can show you this. This record does have some smudge on it, but it's not in too bad a shape. I don't know if you can see this or not, but if you look at it in the light, you can see that it's laser etched. It says sticks on it and has some cool ornate stuff. I don't know if you can see it very well here or not. So I'm showing you. But I don't know. It's kind of neat. You don't see this kind of stuff all the time. Once in a while you'd actually see this on CDs, but I thought it was kind of unusual to have it here on a record. If you can't see it, I apologize. Um, I'll put this away proper later. Of course, Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. I've got a German copy of this. This is pretty beat up American copy. I also have Pink Floyd, the final cut, which I, I guess this was supposed to be like the wall part two or something. I don't know. Got Super Tramp, even in the quietest moments, which is a great song. This is my Super Tramp album right here, Breakfast in America, with the logical song on it and Take the Long Way Home, a lot of great tracks on, on this album right here. Breakfast in America. And uh, this one, Brother, Where Are You Bound? There's not a whole lot on here that just blows my mind. I think it had It's Raining Again and Cannonball on it. But, yeah, you know, what I pay for it a quarter way back in the day? Winner. Face Value, Phil Collins. This is an important album. This is In the Air Tonight. This is, I think... Is it Missed Again or No Reply at All on here? Let's see. In the Air Tonight. Oh, yeah, Missed Again. That's a great song. It's got good stuff. Those are the two big ones that I like on this one. Scorpions, Love at First Sting. Of course, Rocky Like a Hurricane's on here. I saw this concert, and I bought this album new. 
So this is an original. I didn't buy it on Crate Dig. I went to the record store and bought the record brand new when it came out. Billy Squire. Don't Say No. Good album. I don't know if this is unusual or not. It seems to me like I remember the Open Up and Say Ah album from Poison had like bars here where you could only see the eyes or bars down here because like, I don't know, the tongue was something that they got complaints about at record stores. It seems like the full picture here wasn't on the CD or the tape. This might be an early version of this. I don't know. Maybe you know something about this. I haven't looked it up, but I remember seeing this and thinking, well, that's unusual. So anyway, yeah, this. Not my favorite band, but kind of a cool record. Rush 2112. What can you say about this? This is really good. It's got the overture on it. Um, a lot of cool stuff on this. This whole album is, is just good just to listen to. Good album. Let's put on and relax. Of course, ACDC Back in Black. This is a, another beat-up copy. I have nothing but beat-up copies of this. But I also have a copy here, the really nice copy, actually, of ACDC Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap, which I like this album better anyway. It's the old Bon Scott stuff. Except Metal Heart. Yeah, you guys are like, dude, where's all the freestyle? Yeah, I used to be into this stuff, too. I bought this one new. I really liked it. Uh, the song Metal Heart on here is pretty cool. Iron Maiden, Live After Death. Yeah, I went through an Iron Maiden phase. Didn't last too long, but I did pick this up. I remember buying it at the record store at the mall or whatever. Terrence Trent Darby, Introducing the Hardline. I know I have a copy of this on the shelf, but this one was interesting. The texture on the sleeve itself is different than anything else. I don't know. i got to check in Discogs and check the catalog number to see if it's unique, but I've never seen it like this before. It's kind of cool. Bought this one new at the record store as well. This is Deep Purple with Perfect Strangers. I don't think I've ever seen this on a crate dig, but it's got some good tunes on it, like Perfect Strangers and Knocking at Your Back Door. That's a really good song. Good album from Deep Purple, like 83 or 84, something like that. This Dire Straits album is the one that has Sultans of Swing on it. Cool stuff. An absolutely mint copy of Fleetwood Mac Rumors. And it's got all the, the liner sleeves and stuff. It's in really nice shape. I don't think I have another copy of this, actually. And I know I got this on a crate dig. I went through several 8-tracks and tapes of it. But, in fact, that was the first 8-track I ever bought. Back when I was, like, probably 7 years old. But, yeah, here's a really clean copy of Rumors. Here's, um, Mirage. It's got a really good song in here called Love and Store. If you don't know the song Love and Store, have a listen to it. But I believe this also has, like, Gypsy and stuff on it, if I remember right. Yep, it's got Gypsy on it. It's a popular album, but the song Love and Store is a real standout for me. And it was released as a single, but I don't think it did much, but it's a good tune. I bought this brand new, too, at the record store. Robert Plant, the principal of Moments. What's really cool about this record is the song... Big Log. It's also got a song on here called In the Mood. This is before he did all the Honey Dripper stuff. But I really like this album. And the song Big Log is just beautiful. I think a lot of people were hitting on it at the time because it wasn't Led Zeppelin. But I recently heard the song just poking around on YouTube. And yeah, I forgot how great it was. Cool video too. Now this is a bunch of Chicago. I've got two copies of Chicago Transit Authority, which is a great album, by the way. It doesn't get much better than this album right here. Quintessential Chicago stuff. And I got all kinds of Chicago here. Something that I grab when I see it, especially if I don't already have it. There's a copy of five. I forget what this is. Maybe it's like seven. I don't remember. Don't remember what this is. Oh, looky here. Now we're back to kind of where we normally are. Beautiful copy of Trainer and Friends. I have this on the shelf. The sleeve isn't nearly this clean, though, and the record itself isn't nearly this clean. So it was cool to have a copy of this surprising me in storage that it still exists. Little River Band Greatest Hits. Yeah, I know, Little River Band. What's up with that? 
man, they're all right. Give them, a, give them a listen. The song that I really like by Little River Band is called Lonesome Loser. And you know what? Let's see if it's on this album. I bet it is. Yeah, let's see. Help is on the way. That's Howie's good song, or his, his big song. Reminiscing, Lonesome Loser, Take It Easy on Me, uh, Happy Anniversary, Lady Cool Change, The Other Guy, Night Owl, Man on Your Mind. All the good ones are here. So it's a good one. Speaking of greatest hits, Eagles Greatest Hits, Volume 1. If you don't have a copy of this, back in the 70s, I think they, they issued you one. The government just sent you one. But that's it. Some records in the... I don't know, long-term storage that I pulled out today. Thought I'd just share with you. That's it. We'll see you next time. Practice and enjoy.